LPS. You may have heard of it. Those classic little animal collectibles. Yeah, you know, LPS. Lovely Pet Show. They've got everyone's favorites, like Cocker Spaniels, a Dachshund, short hair Cats, or this giant deer for some reason. So yeah, obviously these things are trying to be a Littlest Pet Shop, but they're not like the fake LPS we're used to seeing these days. The ones that are listed as actual Littlest Pet Shop pets, which have actually gotten pretty convincing over the years. But what I'm talking about are these types of fake LPS, where they're clearly based on Littlest Pet Shop, but under the guise of being their own brand, with different logos and packaging. They used to be sold a lot online, and people even found them in some stores. I don't see them as much as I used to years ago, but there were a lot of weird variations of these things, so I wanted to take a look at some of them in this video. Like the one I just mentioned, Lovely Pet Show. The logo looks pretty much exactly like the Littlest Pet Shop one, just swapping out some of the words, I guess. Collect them. Funny. Lovely. A lot of funny little buddy. Alright. Seems like they actually had a lot of different types of pets. Dogs, bugs, birds, this. All based on Hasbro's LPS molds, of course. They also took a lot of the Hasbro designs. Most of them came with the same one accessory for whatever reason, which was this tree thing. And a few of them came with brushes. I like how none of the pictures on the packaging match the actual pets. So overall, it's pretty clear that they were just worse copies of LPS. However, to my knowledge, Lovely Pet Show and all the other ones I'm going to be talking about in this video are missing some of the main distinguishing factors of Littlest Pet Shop. So no magnets or bobbleheads. Instead, the heads just kind of turned side to side, and I'm pretty sure they could just pop right off. Overall, they were not great quality. But hey, if you were looking for an alternative to authentic LPS, Lovely Pet Show was an option. As long as you didn't mind the dirty plastic, weird smell, and toxic chemicals, apparently. Speaking of lovely, there was also lovely zoology friends. To be honest, they seemed just like the Lovely Pet Show pets, just with a different name. Same weird tree thing, some of the same pets. It's interesting because they have kind of a mix of G2 and G3 LPS. I mean, LZF, even though most people didn't even like G3. And why are they packaged upside down? Also, this Basset Hound has different ears than the real LPS version for some reason. Pets Star Little. Now, I haven't watched the LPS show, but that's clearly supposed to be Blythe and the other characters. I will say, though, I've never seen this other art before, but honestly, I wouldn't really be surprised if it was also stolen from somewhere. Again, with those trees. Some of the pets are too embarrassed to show their faces, and I don't really blame them. Littlest Pet Homes. Children Playing Partners. Give infinity happy memory to your childhood. Okay. Q-Shape Puppy Club. Or Puppy Club Q-Shape? Or Puppy Club. Not... Q-shaped? Guess they couldn't decide on a solid name. But whatever it's supposed to be, I still don't get it. Are the puppies shaped like a Q? Or is the club itself shaped like a Q? What does that even mean? The best gift for the children. As great as those little tree things from before were, Q-shaped puppy club went all out with full themed sets of furniture and accessories. Like sad dachshund in a bathroom. Or sad dachshund in an apple. But don't worry, they made plenty of other pets too. All of them being dogs. At least that part of the name makes sense. Why do its ears look like that? I mean, Hasbro did make a basset hound with fabric ears, but between this one and the other weird basset hound mold we looked at before, I don't know why they had such a hard time with the ears. But anyway, Pet Club looks exactly the same as Q-shaped Puppy Club, or Puppy Club Q-shape, or Puppy Club. I <laughs> they are so cute. The cutest pets. Well, that's an opinion. Pet Club, play with me. Although this one also claims to be the best gift for the children. The club is sadly not Q-shaped, whatever that means. But yeah, this is kind of a weird one. It is a line of animal toys, but there seems to be only one that's based on LPS. I don't know why. It uses the sheepdog mold, but to my knowledge there isn't an actual LPS sheepdog with this design. Maybe that's a good thing. My first pet. If this were my first pet, it would probably also be my last. Look at this thing. But yeah, pretty much the exact same as Q-shaped puppy club, puppy club, I, I don't- Little pet suit. Every style is fully wonderful. Many color a lot, selected freely by you. Once own, nothing can instead. Makes sense. This one looks like it's mostly G3 LPS copies, as if those couldn't get any worse on their own. Except these. I don't know what these are. It also comes with even more trees, but at least this time they're not all the exact same. Pet Society. Why are they so big? When I was looking at pictures of these, it just came up with this game. Not affiliated with the toys, I assume. Cute Pets and Cutest Pets. These ones are also giant. Why does it look like that? I mean, Hasbro did make some bigger LPS, but those weren't nearly as nightmare-inducing, so, you know. Lively Super Pet. The packaging is clearly based on Lilith's Pet Shop, but I don't know what the toys are supposed to be. Lovely Pet Park. 
A lot of these are Hasbro designs, but maybe like five times bigger and more terrifying. No, I don't know what this is supposed to be. Lots of fun accessories. Like what? Maybe it's just a picture, but I don't see anything other than the pet in there. Also says it's the best gift for your children. Some bold claims being made here. Lovely pet shop. Again, pretty much the same as Lovely Pet Show and all those variations. They're squished in these little egg things. Some of the toys in the picture aren't even LPS. This one could have used more effort, I think. It is a lovely pet. Is it? Is it really? And lastly, we've got, well, Littlest Pet Shop. This one must be real since it has the actual name, right? Watch. Hands on. Intellice. Collect them all. Mmm, I think I'll pass. Over time, fake LPS have become a lot more similar to the real Hasbro versions. Their heads bobble, some of them have magnets, they even have supposed Hasbro copyright on the bottom. So this could be good or bad, depending on how you look at it. Good because, yikes, and it's a better alternative to expensive real versions for people who don't mind that they're fake. Or bad because now it's a lot harder for some collectors to differentiate what's actually authentic and what isn't. Arguably the closest we have to the old brands, I guess, of fake LPS are the new types of fakes that started showing up on eBay in the past couple years. But what is interesting to me about some of these older fakes is that they used to be made of all sorts of different types of animals. Dogs, cats, birds, fish, bugs, bears, as opposed to now, where it's mostly just the main five and other popular molds. But anyway, tell me what you thought of these weird fake LPS in the comments. And I wouldn't be surprised if there are even more off-brand variations, so let me know if there are any that you know of that I missed. For more LPS videos, subscribe and turn on all notifications. And follow on Instagram for more LPS stuff and video updates to see what's coming next before it's posted here. Thanks so much for watching. Bye!